Hey everyone, Student Dentist Gibby. This is episode three of my DAT series. Today we're gonna to talk about DAT prep courses and DAT study materials. All right, so we all know what the DAT is, but what is out there to help us study for the actual test? So today I'm gonna to talk about those different resources and tools that you can use to help you study for your DAT. The first thing I want to talk about is um, prep courses. Okay, so there's a lot of different prep courses. The most common is Kaplan, there's an ACE prep course, and there's also a Princeton. So prep courses, generally prep courses are designed for people who like to stick to a, a schedule, kind of have a schedule that they can stick and abide with. Kaplan, the one that I took, they have they have online materials, they have a class that you can go to with a teacher, um, they have practice tests, and they have different resources, resources that you can use, and I think most of them have um, similar things like that. So they have, you know, they have all the stuff, basically, that you need in order to succeed on your test. At least that's what they tell you. Um, and they do have abilities to do like one-on-one -on -one tutoring and things like that if you feel like you like to learn t the tutor way. So that's kind of how the courses work for the, the DAT, the prep courses. So some of the materials I want to talk about with Kaplan. Kaplan has an amazing book called The Big Blue Book, except for they just barely updated it. This is the most recent one, but it's like super thick. Okay, this book is awesome. It has pretty much everything you need in it for the sciences. All right, so it is amazing for review. I read the whole thing probably a couple times. I would highly recommend getting the Big Blue Book and use it because it will help you tons. Okay, another thing I want to talk about is Crack the Dat PAT. Crack the Dat is amazing, especially for the PAT part. Um, I used Crack the Dat a couple times, and it, I think it facilitates real-life um, PAT more than any other um, practice material I was able to use. So for the PAT... Crack the dat pat, pat. Crack the dat pat. Um, another thing that I use, I use flashcards. I used an app on my iPhone called Anki Mobile Flashcards. Uh, Anki is also on the computer. It's an awesome flashcard app. There, it uses a system called Lightner System Flashcard System. There's also or Space Repetition System, SRS is what it's also known as, and it's a really, really good way to learn and memorize material. Um, flashcards, I'm not a huge flashcard guy, but I did use flashcards a lot for the DAT and it helped me memorize a lot of the, the main things I needed to, to learn. The last thing is practice tests. Try to take as many practice tests as you can. ADA has a free one. They have another one that I think is $30. At least when I took it a year ago, it was 30 bucks. Those are both great. Remember, every practice test you take, simulate real testing environment. Time yourself. Do the only the 15-minute break and all that stuff. Um, so practice test. Kaplan has a bunch with their program if you decide to go with their program. With practice tests, there's another program called Top Score Pro. Three practice tests. They are great. I would highly recommend getting these. Top Score Pro. Awesome for practice tests. Um, another one that I did was called, it was a Barron's practice test. I found it online somewhere kind of floating around. Maybe you can find it on studentdoctor.net. It, it's, it's an all right practice test. <clears throat> There's three more that are from Achiever, and they're super hard. Um, so you can, do the, you can do this method, the super hard method, with Achiever if you want. I didn't do Achiever. Um, but... The point being is that the more practice tests you take, the more comfortable you are with the longevity, with the test itself, and everything. So I would highly recommend to take as much, as many practice tests as you possibly can. Some other materials that I didn't really use, but a lot of my friends use, are Chad's videos for science. Chad's videos are awesome, I hear. So I highly recommend Chad's videos if you're struggling in general chemistry or organic chemistry. Um, Dat Destroyer, basically it's like books of just tons and tons of questions. They, they have, it's great for the math if you're struggling in math. Um, however, their questions are really hard, but they do explain things really well. 
so DAP Destroyer. Um, another one for biology, Cliff's AP Bio. Apparently it's really good. I didn't use it, but I've heard only positive things about it. All right, the last thing I want to talk about is Khan Academy. It's a great website online, um, awesome videos. This guy, Salman Khan, created these videos and they're really great. I'd highly recommend it. Um, also, you can use YouTube, Wikipedia, or whatever else you know you want to use to study for it. Anyways, hopefully this really helped. If you have any questions, please let me know. Comment below. Also, if you want me to expound on a specific study item, material, or course, or whatever, let me know, and I can make a separate video on that as well. So, um, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, share my channel, like it, you know. And my next video is going to be part four of the DAT series. I'm going to talk about how to create a study plan um, for your DAT. So anyways, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys later. Bye. You're fierce. You're fierce. You gotta